Today we have ourselves a good matchup, the Battle of the Finger Lakes. It's 0-3, Cuca College Wolves taking on the 0-4 Wells College Express. Connor, we're going to have ourselves a good one today. Oh, let's introduce ourselves to the viewers. I'm Joe Horn, joined by... Connor Grimaldi. We're baseball players here at Wells College. Looking forward to broadcast to you guys this game today. We're going to give you any insight, um, stats, little information, whatever to help the viewers' perspective back at home. Um, like I said, we're baseball players, but um, our background's kind of in baseball, football, basketball, but we've been announcing soccer games, and we're pumped to give you guys uh, a little bit, like I said, more information for this game today. We're fired up. Connor, any thoughts? Um, yeah, I'm fired up here. You know, it's uh, former former rivals here in the old, uh, what is it, the NEAC conference, mm -hmm. and I know the, the hate's still there for both sides, and I think we're going to see a nice physical match out there, and I think that it's going to be a good game. You know, two, two teams trying to get in the win column early in the season, and... Uh, uh, I think it's going to go well. Oh, for sure. Connor mentioned the former conference um, foes. Cuca College is now in the Empire 8 before they were in the Northeastern Athletic Conference. Wells, the Express, still currently in that conference today. Now it's known as the United East. Um, and it should be a good one today. We're going to go through the starting lineups real quickly. It, for the Express, Sean Nemeth, he's in goal. Jesse Ramirez, Marco Durley, Carlos Morales, Nathan Solomon, Zaki Javed, Noah Sueva, Masi Gaza Anfari, Enrique De Sessa, Joe Matala, John Castaneda, and Ryan Nugent. On the other side for the Wolves, we have Corey Kenjemi in net, Owen Thorpe, Thomas Caleri, Griffin Heron, Liam Fitzpatrick, Nico Leone, Sean Malley, Zach Dan, Caleb Glessing, Brendan Moquin, and Larry Kroon. Looks like we're just about to kick it off today, and it looks like number 11, Noah Cueva, ready to start it off. As mentioned before, both teams coming in today searching for that first win. Somebody is going to end their losing streak today. Hopefully it's a win for the Express. Could be a tie, but these teams are very evenly matched, Connor, and I think this is going to be a good game today. Yeah, I 100% believe that as well. I think it's going to be a close-scoring a close scoring game and hopefully a hard-fought one as both teams look to uh, get back in the win column and start their seasons off well. Looks like Puka on the offensive end early making some noise. A rainy day here at... The Wells Athletic Turf, it's kind of cleared up, looking to be some good conditions for a night game. A 7 o'clock start. Yeah, I think it brings good, good ambience with the, uh, the weather and the, uh, and the water just right up there. And to start off the game, that's Sean Nemeth with the save early on. It looks like Wells is taking possession of it, and they are moving the ball up the field. It is intercepted by number 21 of the Wolves. That is Larry Kroon. It looks to be wearing the captain's patch or the captain's arm sleeve today. Both these teams have a long history of playing each other coming into today. Cuca leads the series eight wins, and Wells has two. There also is two ties in that as well. The teams played last year as well. Cuca had the edge on Wells College. It was 5-1, to one, and that play game was played at Cuca Park. Yeah, it's tough to see as you're only going to get maybe one or, once, or twice, once or twice a year matchups now as they're changing conferences, but it's always a tough match here, and uh, it seems like it's going to be a, a good game so far. Cuca on the offensive end with the ball. That is 15. Zach Dan with the ball. He kicks it off to his teammate. Striking the ball into the near the net, and it is denied by the Wells defense. Connor, we announced the women's game last week, and one thing we saw, the defense at Wells was able to withstand all the shots, but over time it definitely takes a toll. Yeah, it's definitely a bend, not break type of defense and that type of uh, strategy and uh, uh that can only work so much, but hopefully they can get their counterattack going and can get some uh, get some possession on the Cuca side of half. I think that's very important here if they want to win this game. And a nice boot from number 17, Caleb Glessing, but it goes out of play, and it looks like it is going to be express ball here in the early goings. We want to apologize for our friends at home. The clock is not on right now at the field, so we are having trouble to decipher how much time is left. We will get that information to you as soon as possible. Looks like the rain might have knocked out some of the power here, making us get a little slow start today, whether it's statistics. Um, but, hey, happy the rain stopped as we're back and ready to play soccer. Yeah, it's been a rough couple of days, but, hey, you gotta got to roll with the punches and take what you can get, you know? And that's Sean Nemeth again with the save. It's been busy early so far, and that's hopefully uh, you can use that momentum. A little bit of a schoolyard feel with no clock. 
Just playing right now. Just play until we stop. Oh. And it looks like there is a foul on Wells. It's going to be Kuka possession. A quick up there. Now waiting around, trying to get the ball pressed deep into the Kuka side, or the, sorry, the Wells side of half. Wells taking possession, moving it upfield. Nathan Solomon with the ball makes a nice move, pushes it towards the offense man. It's going to be stopped by number four, Thomas Collery. As you can see here, Cuba's really doing a good job of clogging up the midfield. They're having a lot of their guys stay in the midfield, and they can't. And uh, Wells can't really have their outlet passes that they want to and get the ball pushed deep into uh, offensive territory. Cuba within the box and a shot wide. A good opportunity there. I thought that that was a real good chance for them to strike early on here. The shot was by Brendan Mopin, number 19. The freshman from Palmyra, New York. Yeah, it was good luck, you know, inside the 18-yard box right there. Just kicked it wide. He's going to look to get more opportunities like that as the game progresses. And, uh, and he might bury a few if he keeps getting shots like that and keeps getting wide open looks. Wells trying to get it out of the zone. It goes off on them. It's going to turn to Cuca's possession. Looks like it'll stay this side. You know, just around the halls today at school, definitely a buzz as far as an old conference full two opponents who are familiar with each other. Yeah, it was a big, big atmosphere here around uh, around school. Um, everyone's looking forward to a nice Tuesday night game, and, and and you know, I think we were worried about crowd as far as weather, but it looks like they're slowly filing in as the the sky is blue again. Kyuka with the ball at midfield. One thing I noticed right off the bat is the size of the roster. It looks like Kuka has a couple more subs on the bench, which could be beneficial towards the later stages of the game. Yeah, let's get to uh, the Norris in the second half, and the legs get a little bit more tired. They can have some fresh people come on and off and uh, maybe uh, pick up the pace a little bit more. But right now the pace is staying good. Let's see if both teams can keep up with that as, uh, as the game progresses here at the Wells College Athletic Field. Nemeth ready for a goal kick. Wells, oh, struggling to get out of the zone. It's turned over. Kyuka has possession of the ball, looking for a shot, but it is taken away back by the Express as they frantically get out of the zone, having trouble as number 17. Caleb Glessing again takes possession, kicks it back to number four, Thomas Kalari. Once again, you can see how uh, quickly Kyuka is up on the, on the passes here today early. They're really not giving uh, the Express any time to move the ball, any room to make decisions, and they're pressing really hard. Looking for a cross, it seems, here, as he does. It's passed off in the middle. A shot. It is into the back of the net. Kuka strikes first, and it looks like that was number two, Owen Thorpe, the sophomore from Horseheads, New York. one nothing here in the early stages of the game. And like we said, when you're on offense that much, one is eventually going to fall. And I think the Express paid the price there by not getting out of the zone. Yeah, you know, they made a good through ball into the middle, and he made a nice move around the defender, and he got an open shot. But, no, well, Express hope to uh, stop that from going forward, and hopefully they can uh, get that on their side, on the Cuba side of half, and uh, get a couple more shots on goal. Kuka with the ball again. That's number 21 on the wing, Larry Kroon. He kicks it towards the center, and it is taken by the Express, but taken right back from the Wolves. Joey Matalo playing tough defense there as he kicks it out of the zone. A nice play there, and it looks like it will be a throw-in for the Wolves of Kuka. Yeah, that was a good play by Joey Matalo right there. You know, set up strong. Didn't let the defender go by him. Owen Thorpe already had one goal already this game, and he's looking to get another, but big, strong play right there by... Dream of the defenseman here at, for the Express. You know, so far in the early goings of the soccer season, we've seen some stellar performances. We were watching the women's soccer game last week, and, and two opposing players had two goals. We were on hat-trick uh, alert right from the start. Yeah, hopefully uh, hopefully some Wolves players can get a hat-trick watch so far this, this season. And don't forget to stick around after the game. We will announce the three stars of today's match. 
It is kicked in. Cuca with the ball. It's kicked up, and it is over the net. Just missed it, Connor. Yeah, just over the crossbar. You know, another good look for the, the Wolves here early on, but they can't execute on that play, and hopefully Wells can execute some more uh, some more offense as the game progresses. You know, this battle of the Finger Lakes can be a tough one, and there's going to be some change in momentum here as the first half progresses. Joey Matala does a good job of getting out of the zone. It is blocked right back by a Cuca player, and it is out of bounds. It is going to stay on this end of the field. Matala kicks it out of the defensive zone, but it is headed right back by a Wolves player. Number eight on the chase for Wells, kicks it off to Nathan Solomon. And Wells finally gets it out of the zone, which seems to be like the first time of the ball game today. Yeah, number 11 there makes a good move, and hopefully they can uh, keep this ball pushing forward as they uh, finally get over half for the first, first time this half. Joey Matala with a nice boot. It is... Stopped by the defense, but it remains in the zone. Enrique DeCesa with the ball passes it off to number eight, Carlos Morales. Morales deep in the zone. That looks like Marco Durley from Friends Academy down on Long Island. That was a good cross right there, but the goalie for Kiko is up to the chance or up to the to the chance. And I think that's a good opportunity here as well as looks to bounce back and punch right back another goal here. You know, kind of a little spotlight here. Marco Durley from Baldwin, New York, attended Friends Academy. Very good soccer program. A uh, couple state titles as well. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, my broadcast partner here is also from Friends Academy. That is why. He's, <laughs> he's, he's a fellow Quaker. I had to, give, had to give the shout out there to a former Quaker. And it looks like it's going to stay with the Wells College Express there. Once a Quaker, always a Quaker. It looks like we're having some technical difficulties right now. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties right now. Sorry for the folks at home trying to watch the game. We will get on it as well. In the meantime, we will be broadcasting from a, I guess, a radio perspective yeah, you know, as we fix that. It's a dual broadcast. It's a new wave of the future, I guess. A crossing here by Kuka as well tries to clear it, but another header into the 18-yard box there by the Wolves. Looks like that is kicked away by Ryan Nugent. Nugent, a senior. Out of West Creek, New Jersey. Nice head by Joey Matala to stop from going into the box. And for the viewers at home, we'll be right back as we try to fix these technical difficulties. Thank you for hanging around with us, and we'll get that fixed very shortly. Sorry, as my partner had to step away there. He has to get the uh, technical difficulties figured out with the uh, camera here, but there looks to be a throw in here by the Cuba Bulls deep in Wells College territory. As he makes a move towards the end line, and back out. And cross into the middle, but headed away by the Express. They look to push that up the field, but it's back into the Wolves' hands. Number 15 passes it in. Good defensive play here by the Express as they boot it up the field. Number 7, Marco Durley, currently has the ball, but it's given away right to number 21, Larry Crone, on the uh, Cuca Wolves. The ball's just ping-ponging around here, up around midfield. No one's really getting the... Uh, Getting a really good grip on the ball, and no one's getting any sort of sustained pressure as the Wells Express blew it out of bounds, and it's going to be Cuca, the Cuca ball right around uh, midfield. It's going to be a throw in here as number 21, Larry Crow, 
Turns it right back to defense. Number four, Thomas Kaleri. Uh, boots it up to the far side here uh, around midfield as the Cuban player makes a break for it towards the middle. Number 11 now has it, Nico Leon. And he comes down the far side and he looks to cross it in, but a good defensive play by number five, Jess Ramirez, on the Wells Express out of Denver, Colorado. And it now will be a goal kick here for the Express. The ball pinged around a couple defenders and a couple offensive players from the uh, Cuca Wolves. And now uh, the goalie, Sean Namath, is going to kick the ball up here as the first half continues to happen. <clears throat> We're back with you guys. Sorry for the inconvenience. We've been being told by our higher ups that it makes sense to take a to step away from this broadcast today with the camera and the technical difficulties. Man, Connor, tough news. I mean, we were pumped, fired up to call this game, yeah. but um, we're sorry for the viewers at home. Um, you could definitely stick around and watch the live stats. I think they're updating that um, as the game goes on every moment, whether it's a goal, a save, whatever you want to hear. Um, we look forward to connecting with you all again and broadcasting some men's soccer or whatever Wells Athletics event it may be. Any last thoughts, Connor, for the premature end, sadly, today? Well, you can't win them all, but what can you do? You know, some technical difficulties, some weather didn't play well into our hands, but I know the Battle of the Finger Lakes is going to be a, a good one today, and hopefully uh, Wells can come out on top. For sure, and I know, I know this one's going to be a doozy. Um, pumped to see how this one shakes out, and I'm sure you'll get the updates on the Wells Expressed athletic website they'll come out with an article they'll have the stats the scores all that and more so thank you for taking the time and we'll see you guys next time